over the years, there have been a number of people who have tried to essentially emotionally blackmail me into associating myself with a label. And I feel bad that there were some points of time where I did this to other people. I remember even doing this to Brian J. I won't uh, say any last names or any other thing, but uh, if he's watching, uh, he'll know who I'm... He'll know I'm referring to him. Um, I remember trying to tell him, uh, oh, well, you know, you've got so many ideas that are on the left. You don't call yourself on the left. And he goes, and he's basically saying, well, no, I, I, I don't want to be associated with any label like that. And at the time, I thought he was just being stubborn or whatever. I, I didn't actually know why he was taking that stance. But I certainly do now. And I'm sorry I tried to uh, push him into calling himself on the left. Um, you know, there are a number of labels that over the years that I have not wanted to associate myself with. One of them is atheist. I mean, technically I'm an atheist. If you go by the dictionary definition, yeah, I'm an atheist. But I don't like being associated with it. I, I'm, I'm also a pantheist, which doesn't really clash with atheism. But um, I'm more apt to call myself a pantheist than to call myself an atheist. Because there are so many assholes out there who have ruined the name atheist. They have ruined that description. So when I, if I call myself an atheist, there are a lot of people who, are, who will associate me with those negative things. You know, there's, there's a number of atheists out there who act no better than religious fundies who tell people that uh, they're terrible unless they agree. You know, I don't want to be associated with that. Feminism. You know, feminist. I don't call myself a feminist, even though the dictionary definition of feminist, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a feminist according to the dictionary, but... There is so much baggage associated with calling yourself a feminist. You know, any of these movements, you know, including atheism, as I said, and you can say, well, it's not really a movement. Well, it kind of is. But any of these movements, um, they don't mean what their mission statements say. They don't mean what the dictionary says about them. Okay? What they mean is what the loudest voices in those movements are saying. Their ideas. Whether or not those ideas are flat-out rejected or whether they're accepted by society at large. You know, the ones with the loudest voices, with the loudest, the most heard ideas, are what that movement stands for. You know, it doesn't matter whether or not if you formally study it, it means this. It doesn't really matter. You know, perception, perception means everything. That's why Hillary Clinton lost in 2016. Perception means everything. So, you know, there have been points where I haven't even wanted to say that I'm gay. Not that I, not that people are going to be prejudiced against me for being gay, although there are the, there is that worry somewhat in the background, but it's because I don't like being associated with the politics that are normally associated with the LGBT community. I'm supposed to support a whole shit ton of things just because I'm gay. And, you know, I thought it was bad in the 1990s. You know, I, I thought it was, I, I was frustrated with what was being pushed in the 90s, but it's only gotten worse, you know? Just, just so much crap. I, I don't even really want to go into it. Um, but that's an example of one that I'm not willing to, uh, I'm not willing to say that I'm not gay out of fear of that, you know? But something I, I am considering is 
not calling myself on the left, even though most of the things that I believe are very, very much on the left. You know, I'm more of a 1990s leftist, you know. But there's no place for me on the left. I, I have no home on the left because of just how extreme so much of the left has gotten on a lot of stuff. You know, I'm supposed to I'm supposed to be all right with the looting and rioting and burning. Um, I'm supposed to be all right with, with the concept of equality of outcome or the equity thing where, where we throw out merit. I'm supposed to be okay with that. I'm supposed to be okay with open borders. Um, there's, there's a whole shit ton of things I'm supposed to be okay with that I'm not. I, I don't, I don't agree with those things, but if I call myself on the left, that's what so many people are going to assume. So yeah, I, I, in that regard, I'm, I'm, cons I think I'm just going to call myself an independent. I'm not going to give in to the politics of, of any one side. I'm not going to be told that if I believe this over here, that I have to believe this over here. I'm not going to buy into that. So I guess I'm rambling. Thanks for watching.